Hey guys, I am Captain Goodspeed or Joe, working for FM Scout, and we are going to be doing a how to guide in this episode. If you want to check out my channel, the link will be down in the description. I do FM18 Let's Plays daily content, currently doing two videos a day. So if you like FM, if you like F Let's Plays, then go and check it out because. I'm having a lot of fun doing it this year, but in this particular video, we're going to just do a how-to guide on FM Scout's uh, exclusive real name fix and how to install it into your game so that you can have the UEFA Champions League instead of the European Champions Cup, and you can also have the official Brazilian team names uh, instead of the, the three letters, if you're unaware of that, bleh, goes over your head, um, but it will fix it in the game anyway. So. Without further ado, let's now see 10 of my ugly mug on OBS, there you go, look at that. Anyway, you need to be at this uh, web address, fmscout.com, you can download loads of uh, skins and, and uh, face packs, logos, and this real names fix. I will be showing you how to install other things from this website, uh, I'm sure you're already familiar with FM Scout if you found the FM Scout channel. but. Yeah, the first thing you need to do, obviously, is to download the um, the real names fix. It's made by a guy called Daniel. So, yeah, we download that. And just to let you know, you will need an unzipping software uh, such as WinRAR. And I'll also leave this uh, web link in the description. It's apparently a safe download. I don't think this is where I downloaded it from. But I tried to download it before and it was absolutely fine, so you should be okay. There's there's loads of ads on these sites, but don't let it put you off. They are 100% safe uh, and should 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 be fine for your computer. Uh, but you'll need a an unzipping software to unpack this. But anyway, let's get into step one. Step one is to um, quit your game. You don't want anything else open. There is also written instructions on this website. Uh, if you want to go along with me, then you can do, uh, but if you're more of a visual learner like me, then you'll probably want to watch the video. So the first step is to quit your game and not have anything else open, uh, just to be safe, so that you've got... Well, you shouldn't have OBS open because you shouldn't be recording yourself to it, unless you're me. Uh, you should have your File Explorer up, and you should have Chrome or whatever your selected uh, internet browser is. So we're going to go into our files here. Um, so you want to go to your local C disk, uh, so you can get to that by going on to this PC. Uh, I'm not sure how you do it on Mac, so I'm sorry this is for Windows 10 or just Windows in general, uh, Windows operating system. So you want to go to this PC, then the local disk C and double click on that. And then you want to go to Program Files x86 and scroll down all the way to Steam. And then you want to scroll down to Steam Apps uh, and double click and try not to rename it. And then you want to go down to um, or up to Common and find Football Manager 2018. If you're watching this in future years, obviously you shouldn't be watching it in past years unless you've invented a time machine. Um, so if you are watching it in future years, it should work exactly the same. So you just click on Football Manager 2027 if you're watching it then. And then we go down to data, and then to database, db, 1800. Now, this is the variable point. If you're watching this later in the year, there will be uh, other folders there. There'll be probably 1801, 1802. That is the patch that we're on, and unfortunately, you will have to repeat this every time uh, an official patch comes out because it will fix this. Uh, so we'll need to. You'll need to redo the process. So. In the future, there'll be 1801, 1802, whatever. Um, and obviously, if you're in future years, it'll be 2700, and unless they change their file and structure, or if FM Scout don't do the real name fix anymore, whichever comes first. Anyway, so you go into 1800, and then just looking at my notes here, you go to ink first. So we go to ink, and then all. And then we want to delete three files here, so you want to be very careful. So we want to delete the fake file, which is a good one to remember. And then you want to delete Lick Dan Sway Fra. Um, I'm assuming that's something to do with 
na nationalities. <laughs> I really don't know the technicalities of this, but you want to delete that file and then you want to delete the N League as well. And at this stage, this is where you want to open up your um, files. So we'll get rid of that. Um, so we've got that open, the FM18 real names fix. This is the two files that you should have inside. Right guys, at this point of the video, there was a little cut. I ended up muting me mic and getting all over the place. This is the best way to do it. Just have your file explorer open alongside the zip file. Uh, and then you want to highlight them and drag them across into this folder. So you should have Daniel FM18 club names and Daniel FM18 fix in the ink file. And then you want to go uh, back to folders. So we go one, two, and then we want to go to the EDT um, thing next and then a permanent and then there's a couple, uh, no, sorry, there's only one file you have to delete here, and that's fake. So it's fake in the first one, fake in the second one. Uh, we want to leave all the others here. I don't know what it would do if you deleted any of them, but probably nothing good. And then we want to go back to folders once again and go to DBC, and then permanent. And this is where you will enable the Brazilian team names and Brazilian kits and stuff like that. So we'll get rid of brazil kits and we'll also get rid of forbidden names and we'll also get rid of licensing two and that is it that is all you need to do the only thing left for me to do now is to get into football manager and show you how it all works okay guys we're now in game and the fixes have been applied the only thing um, that I will say is that you need to start a new save if you want the Brazilian club names other than that you do not need to start a new save so um, for the competition names I've just went into my Tottenham save now uh, and the Premier League is is there it's known as the Premier League you can see the competition names on here this is probably the best screen to show it um, we've got uh, the La Liga we've got the Bundesliga in there as well so it really is a good uh, name fix unfortunately you will have to start a new save for the changes to show for the Brazilian club names but I'm sure that won't um, be an issue for m most people out there um, but it's it's a good fix and no, I'm, I'm really happy to have brought you through it. Let us know if you do have any questions down in the comments and I'll try and answer them or somebody from the team will try and answer them. Um, we might do an updated video later in the year if anything changes. But uh, it comes out every year. This should work on most versions of Football Manager, um, sort of past and future and also present. Uh, just remember that you do have to reapply um, this the, these steps as uh, you go into uh, new patches and obviously in new games. So just remember you can stay in your save if you want just the competition names. But if you want uh, the Brazilian names, you will have to start a new save. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this tutorial, if you found it helpful, make sure you do hit that like button on the channel. It really will help us out and show us the type of content that you guys like seeing, um, the, the kind of style you like seeing it in. Make sure you check out my channel as well, shameless plug there, um, and for daily FM content. And I will be back with more how-to guides and experiments in the future. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.